one of my favorite nights of the year. We get to do this three times, just to give you an idea of how special all of you are. Um, we do this only three times during the school year, and we have about almost 6,000 students in the entire district. And of the 6,000 students, less than 30 are recognized during the course of the school year. So you are amazing. So everyone being nominated here, let's give them a round of applause. I want to thank all of our principals and administrators that are here tonight and all of our nominating staff members and, and teachers and paraprofessionals and family and friends and special guests for being here uh, this evening. And most importantly, I want to thank the nine students that are being recognized this evening because you truly make Pittsburgh a better place. So part of what you're, the reason that you're here tonight is because you do everything in your power to model the type of behavior that would make Pittsburgh the best in the entire world as it relates to humanity. You're all leaders. Uh, you are great examples of, of um, how to have a high level of character and do things the right way. And sometimes doing things right isn't always easy. And you are on the right path right now. So just to give you a sense of how you ended up here uh, this evening, each building is tasked with seeking out individuals that they felt exemplify citizenship. And they're asked to write a little bit about each person and why uh, they are deserving of this recognition. And so a committee meets and they look through all of the, uh, the things that are submitted and they, it's a real hard decision, um, but they pick the student from each building, of each of the nine buildings that really are just extraordinary. And so that's, that's why you're here tonight. The, um, after tonight is over, each one of our nine buildings also will recognize you in different ways. So besides what's happening tonight, which is recognition in a public meeting, and a plaque and a letter. Uh, when you go back to your schools, you'll also be recognized in different ways, and that's going to vary. So for some buildings, you might have your name on the bulletin board, uh, might be morning announcements, you might have a name on a plaque, uh, like in high school, for example. There may be special parking privileges um, for your parents, no, for, for the high school kids, um, spirit wear, class helpers, speakers to other classes, uh, lunch with uh, principals and friends. So there's, there's other things we're also going to do to recognize your efforts. Our board president is going to read three of the nominees, and then our vice president is going to read three, and I'm going to conclude with three. So please welcome board president Amy Thomas. For instance, 
Mrs. Hollihan has an origami lotus on her desk. Veronica knows it's one of her favorite flowers. And Mrs. Kirkby entered her classroom re recently to find a black paper crane left carefully on a black surface. Veronica knew it would blend in, but that, but that when it was found, the surprise of its presence would bring even more joy. Gestures such as these not only make others feel special, but show that Veronica sets intentions every day to affect others' lives in positive ways. Veronica creates and shares his art for the greater good and literally leaves bits of happiness wherever he goes. All the while, he seeks no attention or acknowledgement for these acts of kindness. He prefers the act of kindness to be about the act itself, not about the initiator of the act. Additionally, Ronick does all the things you might expect from someone who lives citizenship. From our perspectives, he continuously helps others with cleanup in both the art room and the library. And he patiently shared his origami expertise with his fifth grade classmates earlier this year when kindergarten teacher Teresa Rose asked students, teachers, and staff across Pittsburgh Central School District to make origami cranes for the Children's Peace Monument in Hiroshima, Japan. Although day to day, the gift of Ronick's paper cranes does not constitute a grand gesture, these gestures are consistent and thoughtful. We like to think that it's those surprising gestures that make us most happy as human beings. Being treated to a cup of coffee by a stranger in the drive through line. I've never had that happen. But, um, being gifted with a smile or a word of validation from someone you don't know, somehow at the exact moment when you need it. This is because these gestures remind us of the spontaneous and innate kindness we're all capable of. They remind us that we're not alone. Kindness is a universal language that brings individuals together, even if just for a moment. With every crane he makes and deposits, Ronick's goodwill and positiv positivity is woven throughout the hallways of our school and into the tapestry of our school community. These subtle, sometimes anonymous, acts of kindness make a meaningful impact. They softly, yet powerfully, contribute to the fabric of the happy and sweet moments in our lives here at Park Road Elementary. These are the quiet moments that sneak up on students, teachers, and staff, simply and unassumingly, leaving our hearts full. Congratulations, Ronick. recipient is a 12th grader at Sutherland High School, Jack Gauch. Jack was nominated by Lynn Drake, who's a counselor at Sutherland. Jack is outgoing, talented, funny, and easily interacts with others. He's a person that grabs the world by the tail and takes advantage of every opportunity available to him. I met Jack the summer before his freshman year. He was on student council and I was the class advisor. He quickly impressed me with his maturity, ability to lead, and, lead and take initiative. To lead, that was He's still here, he's still standing there. He has excellent communication skills by touching these frequently with everyone involved and making sure all details are covered. His sophomore year, he decided to take on more of a challenge and ran for executive student council. This is the group of students that facilitate and run school-wide events that each class student council contributes to. Jack has served as the secretary, president, and vice president. He's learned a great deal about focusing on a common goal, doing your best no matter what, appreciating everyone and their contributions, and problem solving to come up with unique solutions. He has also learned to manage stressful and chaotic moments, which included every pep rally that occurred in front of the student body. Wow. He has set his needs aside and focused on the bigger picture, making sure that the student body has a positive experience at homecoming, 
parades, and pep rallies. He volunteers to speak at several student and parent programs, offering his experience and perspective as students are transitioning to high school. He is willing and enthusiastic about saying yes to what's asked of him. If there's a Sutherland event, it's very likely that Jack will be there. Jack is a natural leader. He enjoys making an impact and giving back to the school. Jack is very passionate about musical theater. This is the area that he shines in and will pursue in the future. He displays his leadership skills on the stage by being a role model for others offering encouragement to younger students and consistently being at his best. Jack is a bright spot in any person's day. He's enthusiastic, fun to be around, positive, and he's a good friend. He's focused on his personal goals and driven to meet them. He can balance that with living in the moment and enjoying life. He's a leader and will continue to be throughout his life. He has a great personality, insight, and a maturity that makes him stand above his peers. I wholeheartedly recommend him for the Pittsburgh Pride Award. Congratulations. And my third recipient is Zachary Canning from Jefferson Road. Zachary's in the fifth grade, and he was nominated by Mrs. Kramer, Mrs. Roberts, and Mrs. Walsh, who were his student council advisors and classroom teacher. <laughs> this year, Zach has exemplified all the qualities identified in the Jefferson Road mission statement. In the classroom, he always strives to do his best and works diligently to produce work that is of high quality and follows the parameters of the task. He also challenges himself to go above and beyond in his assignments. For example, he's written a mini sequel to a book that he read in school. That is impressive. <laughs> he's also honest and responsible. Finally, he has been dedicated, he's been dedicated to the third part of our mission statement, which asks him to strive to make a difference in the lives of others. Zach does this not only in his day-to-day -day interactions with peers and teachers, but also in his role as a student council representative. Zach has shown his passion for thinking about the needs of others with countless suggestions and thoughtful contributions at student council meetings. He has also served as a helper at two roller skating parties for some younger students. This is where Zach's natural caring and compassion really came through. Although he was just one of many helpers at the parties, he stood out as somebody who was ready and willing to help any student that needed it. He was vigilant as he watched for students who fell down, or ones that just looked like they needed a little help. Zach also ended up spending a lot of time supporting a student who can sometimes be very resistant to help from anyone. Zach was able to approach the student carefully and establish a rapport that allowed him to offer support without being bossy or overbearing. As his student council advisors, we were very proud and thrilled to see him supporting a student in this way. It also stood out to other adults that were attending the party, and one of them came up to me to inquire who he was because they were so impressed with his supportive efforts. Zach certainly made a difference in the lives of others that day, and we can't express enough how much it was appreciated, not only by ourselves and the students he helped, but by the others who witnessed it. So whether Zach is working hard in the classroom or being supportive to his peers and fellow students, we feel that Zach truly exemplifies what the Pittsburgh Pride Award is, and we are honored to be able to nominate him. Congratulations. Kim McCluskey, our Vice President. <laughs> Good evening. Um, I also have three nominees to announce. The first one being Michael Curran. Could you stand? Michael's a tech.
Michael's a 10th grader at Menden High School, and he was nominated by two staff members, Mrs. Cascametti, who was actually a teacher at Bar Barker Road Middle School, and also Mr. Anglerth, who is a counselor at Menden High School. The first um, letter is from Mrs. Cascametti. I have been very fortunate to witness the impressive behavior of Mike Curran when working with the Ties volunteer at the Bark Road Middle School activity nights. He, um, for those of you who don't know, Ties is a program that we have that means together, including every student. Mike does an amazing job, whatever the situation might be, and sometimes they are very challenging. Mike always maintains a calm, patient, and understanding demeanor. He obviously has a strong rapport with his Ties student and true affection and respect for him. Mike wants him to have fun and feel included and does a wonderful job making sure that happens. I have complete confidence in Mike's abilities to allow this student to engage in all kinds of activities that would be difficult if not for Mike. It has been touching to watch and I cannot say enough good things about Mike. I hope he chooses a career path working with kids because he definitely has a gift for it and I thought everyone should know. The second um, part of the nomination is from Mr. Angler, and he's a counselor. I am writing to support the nomination of Michael Curran for the Pittsburgh Pride Citizenship Award. I can think of very few students in my 20-year career as deserving as Michael for this type of recognition. He is an outstanding young man, and I believe he embodies the characteristics that this award was designate, designed to represent. I first became acquainted with Michael last year when he joined the Menden basketball program on the freshman team. While he didn't have as much playing experience as many of the other players, Michael quickly distinguished himself as a leader. As the JV coach watching the freshman team last year, Michael made quite a positive impression on me. He's upbeat, positive, optimistic, and always gives great effort. When I took over as the coach of the unified basketball team last spring, I got an opportunity to work closely with Michael and truly experience the depth of his personality and character. Michael was not permitted to play on the unified team because he played for the interscholastic team in the winter. So instead, he served as an assistant coach, volunteering his time at all of the practices and games. The unified team last season was, had a very demanding group of players with diverse and complex needs. Our staff had our hands full for sure, but having Michael was like having another experienced adult. In addition to being highly responsible and mature, Michael has an incredible gift for working with students with disabilities. His kindness, compassion, and patience were constantly on display during the unified season. Michael draws on his own personal and family experiences to display a deep level of understanding and empathy. I think what makes him even more unique and special is that he is a remarkably humble as well as completely genuine and sincere. In addition to unified and interscholastic basketball, I've had the privilege of working with Michael in the Best Buddies program and seeing him in school. He is an active and enthusiastic school leader and a dedicated community servant. Michael has a tremendous work ethic and on top of his countless extracurricular commitments, he maintains a straight A average in the most rigorous courses. I am proud to know Michael, and I am honored to support his nomination for this award. Congratulations. The next nominee is Nora Graff. She's a fifth grader at Menden Center Elementary School, and she was nominated by two um, teachers, Mrs. Jennifer Montgomery, who's her current grade five teacher, and Mrs. Mary Kukindi, who's, their, who's her grade four teacher. Why are you nominating this student, was the question. Nora Graff is especially deserving of this recognition because she's the kind of person who doesn't do things for the recognition. She does things because she truly cares about others. Nora is an extremely modest and hardworking student who can always be counted on to do her best, while also considering the needs of those around her. Last year, 
Nora took the time to get to know a student who was new to Megan Center. This was a student who was struggling with the transition to a new school. Nora displayed absolute respect and patience for her classmate. She was always willing to see things from his perspective and would remind others to be caring too. Nora would show she cared in many unassuming ways, like simply saying, it's okay, or give him, him a smile. Nora has continued to show these caring ways throughout fifth grade. She continues to be the type of friend who will reach out to her peers to remind them in a respectful way to spread kindness and acceptance, to treat others the way you would want to be treated. Nora is quick to ask, how are you doing, when she connects with her former teachers in the hallway. She is always stepping up in the classroom, offering to complete tasks, help students pick up dropped items, collect homework for her teachers, or help classmates who have missed instruction because of a music lesson or another activity. She puts others first in all that she does. Late last fall, Nora's fourth grade teacher received her scholastic book order and was sure that the number of books she ordered was wrong. The teacher went to Nora to ask, do you think your mom meant to order almost 100 copies of a book, or was that a typo? <laughs> Nora explained that she helps her mom deliver books, along with other little things, to children at a local city school every Christmas. So no, this was no mistake. This is just another one of the many quiet acts of kindness that Nora does, not for recognition, but to make a difference in the lives of others. A few months ago, Nora's teacher read aloud the picture book We're All Wonders as part of a class meeting. This read aloud soon turned into a great discussion about what makes their class special. Students began to open up about things that made them unique, including discussions of different abilities, learning difficulties, attentional challenges, and changes in their family structures. The look and smile on Nora's face said it all. She smiled and nodded to each student, quietly acknowledging them and showing acceptance and support as they voiced the things that made them unique. In the book, We're All Wonders, um, the, the author writes, I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. Every day, Nora's compassion and kindness is helping others change the way they see. In Nora's own words, Empathy means you are devoted. It shows you really care for someone and you hope the best for them. Nora, we are proud of you and thank you for making our school a better place. Congratulations. Our next um, nominee is Mark Lomaglio. He's in by Mr. Wall, Mrs. Knight, and Ms. Mrs. Lubinsky. I have known Michael for three years, and he has always been an exceptional, exceptional student, both socially and academically. We have been most impressed with Mark's leadership, especially on the modified cross-country team. Mark has been an enthusiastic cheerleader for runners of all levels. He is constantly encouraging everyone in many different ways. He was directing and guiding his team's attitude with positivity and enthusiasm. Even when Mark had an injury, he came to the meets and shouted out words of encouragement. In addition to his work on the cross-country team, Mark is a role model in his work in chorus, as a web leader, work on the morning bark, and in his church. He has truly blown us away with his maturity and his steadfast kindness to all. Please consider Mark for the Pittsburgh Pride Award. He is a very deserving young man. Mark for president. <laughs> After listening to all of these and how wonderful everyone is, I'm gonna exercise my power as superintendent and none of you have to go to school next week. It's five days off each one of you. Do not tell anyone. And your teachers are all here, so they, 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 they know. Can I have, uh, please, Jaden Morelli Claggett, stand up, please.
Jaden is a fifth grader at Allen Creek, and he was nominated by Mrs. Cushman, Mr. Moscato, and Mrs. Barge. Jaden is a name known to not only as fifth grade teachers, but to most fourth grade and third grade teachers as well. You may be thinking, well, it isn't a good thing when teachers in the building know students' names so readily. Yet with Jay, it's quite the contrary. Jaden is the student whose name teachers know because he embodies the qualities and traits of someone representing true Pittsburgh pride. Allen Creek's touchstone reads, being your best self, doing your best work. Jaden exemplifies that philosophy every day without fail. Across his years at Allen Creek, it has been clear that demonstrating his best work is ingrained in Jaden's work ethic, regardless of his teacher, the subject, or the classroom. Being his best self comes naturally to Jaden as well. He is willing to work with any peer and approaches any obstacle with respect, empathy, and maturity it is commensable for his age. Commendable for his age. Jay's outlook is as positive as it can be. And you can always depend on him for a smile that will change the direction of your day. He has a calm and steady demeanor that is to be admired by men. As the previous representative on student council as a fourth grader, Jaden represented everything student council stood for. This year in fifth grade, Jaden continues to demonstrate the qualities of what it means to be a role model. Additionally, Jaden was selected this year to be a student representative on Allen Creek Social Emotional Inclusivity Team, SEIT, as a voice for the student body to roll out our IASTIP initiative. Not only does Jake demonstrate a strong work ethic in the classroom with his peers, but also as an athlete on the football field. Together with Mr. Biondi and his past teachers, we believe Jaden is well deserving of the Pittsburgh Pride recognition. Congratulations, Jake. <laughs> Alan Raskin, eighth grader at Conference Road. Alan, it honestly looks like you were nominated by everyone. You're nominated by the Purple Team teachers, Best Buddies advisors, Student Council advisors, Mr. Felsoy, and Mr. Walker. And I recognize you for being at a board meeting before. Is that right? I thought so. In a school district and community full of outstanding students, Alan stands out. For so many reasons, Alan is incredible. He's a special young man that has a profound positive impact on the community around him. It is our honor to recommend his as the Calkins Road honoree for the Pittsburgh Pride Award. Alan is a stellar student and a terrific leader on the Purple Team and at Calkins Road. His caring, genuine persona is apparent on a daily basis and in the many extracurricular activities that he participates in. Alan is a very active member of both Student Council and the Best Buddies Club. Academically, Alan is engaged, enthusiastic, and he's a passionate learner. He is consistently on top of his schoolwork and regularly goes above and beyond with the work he completes. He participates in the math cluster program at Coffins Road, taking multiple high school mathematics classes in a self-driven classroom atmosphere. He works so well with his classmates and they work to push each other farther and farther. Alan recently competed in the Coffins Road Geography Bee making it all the way to the school's championship round. Alan currently serves as an officer in our student council. The student council advisors, Mrs. Doggett and Mr. Estridge, shared this. Alan is the Coggins Road Middle School Vice President this year. He is the most amazing young man for so many reasons. Alan is a true leader and is extremely passionate in his role as Vice President. He is a very caring soul that takes time to listen to everyone, giving everyone's voice value. Alan is wise beyond his years and enjoys life to the fullest. We are so fortunate here at Calkins Road to have Alan as part of our student body. If we all had a little bit of Alan in us, the world would be a better place. Alan is the president of the Best Buddies organization for Calkins Road as well. In school and out, he has been a proponent of the tenets of this organization. The worldwide organizational goal of Best Buddies is to offer its members socialization and leadership opportunities, as well as job coaching, thereby providing the necessary tools for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to become more independent and more included in the community. Best Buddies fosters one-to-one -one friendships between students with and without IDD 
and helps to create an inclusive school climate for students early on in their educational development. Ellen has embraced his philosophy and his leadership position in Best Buddies. He has gone door to door raising money for the Friendship Walk. He helped create videos for the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign to help students understand the negative effects of using the R word. He leads with genuine passion and care for this larger than us cause. One of our favorite stories happened when Alan was gathering donations for the Friendship Walk last spring. He was discussing that campaign with one particular person who had an opposing viewpoint, but Alan would not be deterred. Alan dazzled him with his maturity and eloquence and eventually won him over. The man donated not just to the cause, but to Alan and the fine job he did in representing his cause. I just want to know what you did with your money that you got. <laughs> Last spring at the Middle School Unified Basketball Game, Alan took the microphone in front of well over a thousand fans and captivated them with a the mission of Best Buddies and how everyone plays a role. He has also presented to the Board of Education with the other club members, sharing the great work of the group. A presentation did not leave many dry eyes in, the, in attendance. Outside of school, Alan has worked directly with the Best Buddies organization. He has attended two leadership training programs and he spoke to the Galasano Foundation. Additionally, Alan spoke at the Best Buddies Championship event, garnering an invitation to speak at Allendale Columbia's TEDx Talk event on albinism and part of the panel for Best Buddies. Not only does Alan take the time to speak out to groups and organizations about this, which is really impressive, but every day he embodies the spirit of the organization. He tries to educate his peers. He has the conviction to stand up saying, hey, that word is not nice. We really should not use that word or by befriending and getting people engaged in the organization. Who Alan is can be captured in a brief moment that happened last week. When he was eliminated in the final round of the Geography Bee on stage in the auditorium, he stood up and without hesitation walked over to the remaining players, shook their hands, and wished them good luck. After a brief pause, the other student that was just eliminated got up and did the same thing. This is the kind of person Alan is. He does not look for recognition or a pat on the back. He leads by example. He shares his passion openly. He is true to himself, and he always, always does what's right. We discuss positive attributes and modeling often in the abstract, but one can see this pers personified in Alan, which is why he's a perfect example of this award. When he presented so beautifully with last week's TED Talk, Lin Lindsay Jewett, the development coordinator with Best Buddies International, said it best. When this chapter president becomes the actual president, I'll say I knew him when. Congratulations. Your legs are probably tired from standing up that long. <laughs> uh, Ethan Westervelt from Thornell Road, fifth grade. <laughs> was nominated by Mrs. Chapman. Sitting right behind you. <laughs> Thornell Road School is filled with many people who make a difference. Some make a difference in small ways and others in big ways. Ethan is a fifth grader who makes a positive impact to the Thornell Road and Pittsburgh communities. Ethan leads by example. In class, he's the first one in the room to complete his assignments to the best of his ability. He takes challenge and stride and will often find ways to make things his own. For example, in social studies during our reading around the problem unit, Ethan and his partner chose to teach the class about their problem by creating a TV show using a green screen. The project fulfilled all of the requirements, but also was entertaining to watch and create. No assignment is ever too hard, too much, or too long for Ethan. When he finishes his work, he often looks through to see how he can make it better. When he knows he has finished, he hands it in and will work on a peer-driven project parody trading cards. These cards were inspired by the 1980s garbage pail kids. We love them. <laughs> but instead, the boys are making cards about movies and books. For example, Home Alone 2 has been recreated as Gnome Alone 2, Lost in the Yard, complete with garden gnomes and newspapers. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Ethan balances the seriousness of school with the joys of playing with language and starting something new. At Thornell, Ethan is involved in several extracurricular activities. 
Besides participating in traditional fifth grade activities like band, chorus, safety patrol, and ski club, Ethan also served as an actor in the fifth grade concert, a member of student council, and a partner in Best Buddies. In our January concert, Ethan transformed into the character of Pierre, a French chef who saved the old gray goose from the certain demise of Aunt Rhody, complete with an accent and props. You're going to act that out shortly. <laughs> As a new member of student council this year, Ethan is helping to organize community building activities and infrastructure projects, like giving the gym locker rooms a facelift. Most importantly, Ethan is a member of a new club, Best Buddies. Best Buddies is a global volunteer movement that creates opportunities for one-to-one -one friendships and leadership development for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The 50-plus membership of the club meets monthly to create a plan and engage in activities with students of all abilities. Through his involvement in our school activities, Ethan helps to make our school a better place. In the community at large, Ethan participates in fundraisers like the Rainbow Classic, in sporting like CYP, Pittsburgh Mustangs, and Pittsburgh Little League. Ethan is a young man who is just starting his journey in the world, but it is clear he is making our own community a better one, one day at a time. Thank you, Ethan, for all you do. You make Pittsburgh truly proud. So I just, I just want to say that to the parents and grandparents and family that are here, <clears throat> hug the person that you're here with for doing such amazing work in Pittsburgh. I have to tell you, it's so refreshing uh, to be able to celebrate all the good that's in this world and be able to do it tonight here at our board meeting. Well, there were, were several you can hug. <laughs> so please know from, from the Board of Education's perspective and, and certainly from my perspective, um, I couldn't ask for anything more than for, for students like you in this district. So hats off to our nine students.